OG coming through. OG coming through. All right, man, let's get right into it, man. Being the black sheep, let's talk about it right quick, man. You ever sit back thinking to yourself like, man, I'm different. I ain't like everybody else. And then it kind of bothers you a little bit because you're asking yourself, what do I have to do to fit in? What do I have to do to be accepted? Whether it's a group of friends, a new environment, hell, even your family. Next thing you know, you, you find yourself doing everything in your power to try to fit in, but nothing seems to work. You're not like everybody else. You're not feeling the wave. You're not feeling these trends. You're different. And that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Don't ever let anybody take that from you, man. Don't let anybody make you feel bad for being different, man. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing like having your own motherfucking lane. Because, you know, growing up, I was one of them niggas trying to fit in. You know what I'm saying? Bro, all you gonna do is stress and drive yourself crazy trying to fit in with these lame ass niggas, man. Tell you something, bro. This generation normalizes so much weirdo shit. If that's cool, I don't wanna be cool. I'd rather ride my own motherfucking lane. My lane is just fine. Saying nowadays, I pride myself in being different, man. You know, I don't fit into, you know, your typical stereotypes and shit like that, man. You know what I mean? Oh, you like basketball? I like UFC. You like club and shit. I'm more of a homebody. You know what I'm saying? You like the spotlight? I don't care for it like that. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like ain't nothing like being yourself, man. You know what I mean? What you see is what you get. If you don't like it, get the stepping. Get the fuck on. <laughs> you know what I mean? People can't accept you for who they are. Okay, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? But I know one thing. Somebody's gonna motherfucking like it. Man, don't be discouraged because, you know, you have a different way of thinking, a different lifestyle different mindset and shit like that you know what i'm saying now all my third eye people know where i'm going with this man you know what i mean you feel like you're too advanced for all of this shit going on in society you feel like you're born in the wrong time period you feel like you know what i'm saying you're trapped in a society amongst a bunch of fucking idiots and then it's like you know why would i dumb myself down to fit in with these goofy motherfuckers you know niggas let social media decide on how they should live and shit like that hell at that rate you might as well put on makeup and join the motherfucking circus man because you know a lot of this shit going on nowadays ain't nothing to look up to man you know what i'm saying Jim, it hit me in my late teens and early 20s man like i started finding out who i really was and then hell you know at 26 you know i can finally say my third eye opened up all the way you know what i'm saying it's like i've been hip to how shit works for a while but at 26 you know I know how shit really works now you know what i mean you know what i mean i can say i'm at peace you know i know who i am i know what i want to do you know what i mean and can't nobody take that from me so yeah man don't be discouraged by these bitch ass niggas that pass judgment and talk down on you or whatever you know what i'm saying because nine times out of ten motherfuckers passing judgment ain't on shit they got damn self the only difference is the sorry motherfuckers got numbers and misery sure does love company don't it Cause you know most of these sorry motherfuckers you know when they see something different they, it poses a threat to them for some reason you know what i mean so keep doing what the fuck you do man don't be discouraged by these lame ass niggas man because every now and again man i'll think back like to middle school and stuff like that man you know even some of the high school years like i used to literally do shit to get in trouble on purpose trying to look cool <laughs> you know what i mean and I look back at some of this shit and just kind of fucking cringe like, yo, what the fuck was I on, man? Trying to impress a bunch of lame ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? And most of the motherfuckers that I was trying to impress, they dead or in fucking jail. You know what I mean? The fuck I look like trying to impress these crash dummy ass niggas, man? It's, it's stupid. That's why, man, I'm just so grateful I grew out of that stupidity, man. Because do not get in trouble trying to be cool, man. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, these dirty niggas, they prey on people like you. They know you're going to do anything to try to be down with them. They're going to take advantage of your stupid ass. You know what I'm saying? Don't go out like that, man. I'm just glad my sense kicked in. And then, you know, I'm grateful to have never have sat in a cell, got caught up in no bullshit. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing cool about getting in trouble, man. I don't give a fuck what your favorite rapper says. I don't give a fuck what you see on your timeline. Ain't nothing cool about getting in trouble, man. Ain't nothing cool about having a record. I don't give a fuck what these niggas tell you. Oh, you ain't about that life. And that's perfectly fucking fine. You know what I'm saying? I pride myself in that. But at the same time, if push comes to shove, I'm going to defend myself. And then there's advantages to being underestimated. You know what I'm saying? 
You ain't gotta be no street nigga to be respected, man. I don't give a fuck what tall tales these niggas spin. Fuck out of here, man. If you wanna focus on your education, focus on that. If you wanna play ball, play ball. Hell, if you wanna play the motherfucking game, play the motherfucking game, man. Don't let these niggas steer you in the wrong direction and hit that brick wall, man. There is nothing wrong with being your motherfucking self. It's so much better when you can look in the mirror and be your goddamn self. But yeah, man, I pride myself in being a black sheep. Whoever don't like it, eat a dick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just cooling, staying out the way, minding my goddamn business, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like being at peace. But yeah, you know, it don't stop there, man. I see niggas crashing out, trying to impress women and shit like that. Let me tell you something, bro. You are not going to get them all. You are not going to pull every woman you see. As I said before, what you see is what you get. Niggas will read a female's bio. Her bio might say something like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, I like hood niggas. <laughs> Next thing you know, the nigga that read that, he, he, first thing he do, go buy a pair of gold teeth, and now he flashing guns and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, if she don't like you for who you are, she's not for you, my nigga. Don't fall into that trap either, bro. What you see is what you get, man. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't genuine, that ain't it, man. You know what I'm saying? If she ain't holding you down, she's slowing you down. You know what I mean? But uh, I said everything I had to say. What do y'all think? Cutthroat baller out. Peace.